Hello, everybody, and good evening from Manchester in the UK. And my name is Evan. For those of you that haven't watched any of these before, um, I run a digital business and uh, I love talking to my fellow business partners who literally, literally are all over the world. What we do is we help people start their own digital business. You don't need any experience. Uh, and it's been the best decision that me and my partner Ryan have ever made because anyone can do this. And we help other people do exactly the same thing. And as part of this business talk, what I do is I speak to my business partners all over the world. And today I am thrilled because I'm joined by a lady from the UK who is called Jane. And we are going to hear her story today. Hello, Jane. How are you? Welcome. Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. And I know you've had a busy weekend, haven't you? Because you've been moving, haven't you? So. Yes, yeah. We've, it's taken two weeks to get straight, but we're there, I think, just about. <laughs> um, not bad. <laughs> just amazing. hung the last of the pictures behind me. <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing. I remember when we moved in, it was the, the days moving. And is it moving and getting married are the two most stressful experiences in life? <laughs> I'm not getting married again this time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so but I'm, I'm so thrilled. Thank you so much for making the time to uh, speak to us today. And really keen to hear your story and just tell us a little bit about Jane and what your life was like before you started this business, really. What were you doing before? Right. I, I've been in sales for a long time um, with a very well-known national blinds company selling oh. shutters and blinds and stuff like that. And I've been self-employed all of that time, which has been brilliant because there's no cold calling or anything like that at all. Um, my husband's in the armed forces. Well, he's just retiring. He's, he finished work on the 18th of December. So we're on the sort of rollout to retirement now, which is brilliant. Yeah. I know we're not supposed to do that. But, yeah, so we're actually going into the next stage of our life. We've been married for 33 years, and we've got two grown-up children. I've got grandchildren who I like to look after as well. So this is why we went into it, really, to give us something that we could travel with. I know you like travelling as well. We like um, that, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Slightly different on what we do. Uh, I mean, we've got a motorhome, and we do a lot of travelling with that. We've had it for the last five years. And we've done a lot of Europe and not got much further because it takes so long to drive from the top end of France down anywhere because there's so many pretty places you just keep stopping. So, yeah, it's great. And that's really why we decided that this was the best thing for me to do at this stage now and taking it forward. It's going to give us the long term longevity and something that we maybe won't have to worry about the income for the rest of our lives with a bit of yeah. luck. And, um, yeah, that's so the plan. And were you, were you looking for specifically for a, a digital business when you found this one, or did it kind of catch you by surprise? No, I was not a heavy Facebook user at the time, um, right. although Michael would probably disagree with me. He says I'm always on the phone. But I was just literally going through my newsfeed, and it popped up. And I, having done a little bit of sort of research, watching the videos and all the rest of it, I just spent a long time just – mulling it over and deciding whether or not it would be for me and then decided that actually I had nothing to lose so I would give it a go and see what happened um because yeah. I have a job and I, I still do that on a part-time basis well not so much at the minute because we're in lockdown but you need something that will give you a backup and this has been the plan b but it's going yeah. to be the plan a that that's the long-term scheme of this and yeah. also it, it in the long term side of this, if you really think long term, it's the legacy and what you can leave to your family. Yeah. So, yeah. in the long term, that's where that's headed. And that's one yeah, of the reasons I why I decided that. to do it. And I thought, I've got nothing to lose. You know, you can buy a business, you can buy franchises, it costs you an absolute fortune. The outlay isn't there for that. It, it's not such a big outlay. So, it's something that you can just about go ahead and do. And you're never going to lose out. Hi, Graham. Hi, Graham. Yeah, saying hello to Graham. Yes. 
Hopefully on hands free, Graham. <laughs> yeah. Um, perhaps no. I, I no. I can I can relate to all of that. To be fair, because um, we were the same. We we wanted a backup plan. All right, and I'm looking ahead to retirement. Ultimately, you know, it's a fair few years away yet, but it's kind of there. It's creeping up on the horizon, and yeah. you know, we absolutely wanted a backup plan. And I think you know, if 2020 or the past 12, 13 months has taught us anything. <laughs> It's by golly, we need a money backup plan, don't we? Seriously, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you don't just need a backup plan that you're still sort of your legs are going mad under the water while you're looking all serene on top. You need something that's actually going to work and not just sit there and you're running around like a headless chicken and nothing's happening. Exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. So why why did you think that kind of working online was the right thing for you? Why why was that such a good fit for you? Do you think? Because of the traveling side of it, really. And it's something that I can take with me. Um, I help look up. My mum wasn't very well at the time either, and I wanted something that I could just pick up and put down. Yeah. And then my dad's been a little bit off colour for the last sort of year or so. So all things are changing, and they're changing your life on a regular basis. Wednesdays I have my grandchildren. And, again, I can pick it up and put it down, and they could be running around, and it's not interfering with anything. You, you look at this business, I mean, we're talking – we're slightly more mature than some of them, but there's a lot of really young mums and young dads out there that are doing this, and they've got their children mm -hmm. running around in the background, and it works for everybody. It does. I think the family, the fam those with the family, I think I can't think of a better fit for, for someone who has a family that perhaps wants time at home with the children because, you know, we don't have kids, but I know that it's a constant challenge for people trying to juggle work life with raising a young family, whether that's doing the school runs or just being home in those kind of pre-school years. And it's yeah. it's always, a, it's always a, a real balancing act for people to try and manage. And it, it must be really stressful. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. I mean, like I say, my daughter, she's got two. Lucas is four in February and Leah's yeah. 15 months. But their, their childcare costs alone are oh, almost yeah. out of the ballpark. And... By us able to sort of help out and look after them, it just means that we're able to do bits and pieces and help. Um, but primarily it's the travelling. That's where I want to be. I want to be away whilst something's working in the background and I'm able to sort of Amen. give a couple of hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you went to Rome in that and so and so. <laughs> well, that, that was, yeah. Yeah, we had yeah, despite yeah, despite last year's kind of, you know, the yeah. crazy situation, we managed to in between the lockdowns and the restrictions we managed to get away, you know, and we're, we're, we're trying to plan now, even thinking ahead, even just the March and we're on this kind of, can we get away? Can we not get away? So as soon as we can, we'll be. No, exactly <laughs> what you mean. We're tunnel booked. <laughs> Absolutely. We can get, get back. We're not too worried, but so we can get away. That's the main thing. But I mean, our van's been yeah. parked up since September and it, it's just oh, unheard yeah. of. We're always out every couple of weeks going somewhere doing sure. something. And yeah, it's no, horrible yeah. not being able to do it, but you understand why, and that's it. Yeah, completely, completely, completely. So, was was learning to work online difficult for you? How did you find going through the the process of the training? How did you find that? I found that if I did a couple of modules and then went back and redid them, it sunk in. If I tried to fly through it, it just didn't work. So it really is taking it each stage at a time and make sure you don't miss anything. But it's all there. Yeah. And if you don't understand something or you don't understand how to get onto the next stage, then there's always somebody that will give you a hand with it if you can't find what you're looking for. Yeah, very true. It's very true. And, and that, I mean, for example, it's a big one. When we started that, that's, that was really big. What was that? Sorry, Jane, say that again. YouTube. I mean, I've got really stuck on YouTube, and then I, you did right. some tutorials, didn't you? So yeah, yeah there's yeah. always somebody that's got the knowledge that you don't necessarily have, and are willing to help. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, I mean, I worked years ago before I started what I'm doing now. I worked in the mobile phone industry, so a little bit of the tech stuff wasn't too far away from what I was used to doing. It's right. just yeah. putting it into a context where you're using different things, and it. I mean, the ways that the platforms are com they're changing constantly and everything's upgrading. I mean, we're going to have much more hands-on in the back 
side of everything now as well. It's yeah. just great. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And I guess and the work that they put in, the work that the guys are putting in in the background for us, and they all do it because they want to do it. It's just amazing. I know. I know. And that, that what's really surprised me, well, not surprised me because that's what was talked about before we joined the business was the level of support that yes. know, is available to you. And, and I have been absolutely staggered by the level of support that actually is out there, really, you know, and made some incredible new friends, made some incredible connections. And, you know, my network is global, as I'm sure yours is now. And that is down to this business. And yeah, it is. Um, yeah, you find you, you wake up in the morning, you've got a message from somebody, and then you realise that it's yeah. through the business and you've got to know yeah. them. And I mean, the get-togethers, which have all gone virtual. I know. We had a few of us that get together, sort of in London, every 10 of you or 15 of you or something like that. And you did the Manchester ones. Yeah. But all of a sudden, the Zoom meetings, you've got like 100 <laughs> people on. 100 people, I know. It's huge. I know. Well, I know, I know. Well, I did one of the masterminds, didn't I, when I did the... the yeah, you the, did. The, yeah. And so there was 1,400 people. I know, it's crazy. And, uh, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> it was great fun. Well, well yeah. it. It was. Yeah. It was. So, what, so what, what do you... Oh, sorry, go on. You can ask me no, something. Right, fine. It, yeah, I was just going to say, so you did it for the same sort of reasons that I did. Yes, to a, to a large degree. So yeah. it was kind of th probably two or threefold. So one was uh, wanting more money. Who doesn't, right? That's one. Yeah. Uh, two was a backup plan. The kind of we wanted a, a second revenue stream, right? Um, which leads into the third one, which is kind of that retirement plan, right? So ultimately, not unlike yourself, our plan is to be able to travel more than we do already, and yeah. you know, to take something with us that's going to generate income for us whilst we are traveling so whilst we're off enjoying ourselves yeah. having a digital business carrying work for us it's great right so that absolutely ticked that box so that that's what we're kind of that was our driving force behind starting um and it's proven to be exactly that and that's what's been yeah. incredible you know um over the past year um i've been able to work, to work at home with my normal job anyway um Ryan's been furloughed for a large part of the year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> enough. Um, you know, and it's there are a lot of people that have have unfortunately have lost their jobs over the past year, you know. So we've been quite fortunate, but it what it's hammered home is the need to have something else. You yeah. know, you can't and you shouldn't re rely on just one thing anymore because it's it's too risky. <laughs> If I'm being yeah. honest, you, you know, yeah. when things, because you never know when, God forbid, the next thing's going to happen. And but, no, people I'd should like be thinking. I can't get my head around the fact that this is worldwide. So, what's happening in the world is worldwide, but also this business is worldwide. So, it's not restrictive and you're not restricted to where you are. Um, no. I had my very first buyer sat at the bottom of a ski lift in the summer in the motorhome. How did you first? You, you, what's the name? I'm a very first buyer when we were sat at the bottom of a ski lift oh, right. in okay. the Swiss Alps. Yeah, Amazing. and it was a very, very sketchy signal. So I had to get my coach and my mentor to do everything else from the other side because I couldn't get through. <laughs> and it was all sort of bouncing back and forth. <laughs> this goes to show that it doesn't matter where you are. I did it all on my phone because although I had the laptop, we did, the Wi Fi wasn't good enough at that particular moment in time. So I'm just working on my phone. So, again, that shows the versatility of what we're doing here. It does. It does, and, it does. and the magic of it a little bit because, like you say, it's the first one. And it was – I joined in July 2019. This was August 2019. So, one, not only was it brand new, I didn't have a clue what I was doing at that point. I was still trying to <laughs> read everything. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got a folder with everything. But yeah, no. it was quite funny. I just never thought it would happen. I, I thought I'll go away and that'll be it. And but no, <laughs> this fire come through, and it was like, oh no, this is what am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, no, and, and so I've got a very similar story to be fair, and um, I think we we started it pretty much the same time, give or take. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but it is, but to your point, so I one of my most famous memories is when we we went over to Beijing, um, 
for my 50th in November of, uh, of 19. Yeah, November of 19. And I, whilst I was, we, we flew, we flew and I connected the in-flight Wi-Fi. And whilst I was in the, in the air, I was communicating with someone who was asking some questions about the business. All right. And I'm sat there first class, I've got my champagne going on, got my phone in another <laughs> hand, having a conversation. By the time we'd landed in Beijing, we'd taken action and moved forward and joined. And that was yeah. to the day. That was just the most amazing thing because I, I landed, and that had all taken. That had all happened whilst I was having a, a nice meal and just exchanging a couple of messages. It was no yeah, big. I know but, it's amazing, isn't it? And you just don't. You, you read these things, but you, it, until it actually happens to you, it's very hard to put it exactly. into perspective. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, so what? When you when someone says to you, "Tell me what it is you do, Jane." Right, tell um, me about your business. What do you say to them? I say to them that what we actually offer is we're offering an online system which is all there for you. It's a training system, it's a platform, it's yep. everything's in place. But the best way to find out about it is to actually watch the videos and get them to sign up into the funnel. Because if you do that, it's all put down in the right order. If I yep. try and tell somebody about it, there's a lot about it that you just don't realise. And until you actually start to look at it in depth, and it gives people a chance to go back over it as well. Exactly. Which you don't have if you're just having a conversation. No. But let's just put them into my, the into my funnel effectively and get them to sort of register and sign up with that. If it, they don't want to do it, it doesn't matter. If they do decide to go ahead and do something with it, then all well and good. But either way, it, it doesn't make any difference. But they're getting all the information that they require yeah. from the right people, not just from me. Exactly, um, exactly, yeah. and, it, and it costs nothing to get that information as well. Yeah. You know, it's it's completely free. It's completely complimentary. You know, it's a name and an email address, and we'll send you some information. It is as simple as that, isn't it? It is absolutely very, very simple, and it, it makes it very easy as well. Which because you don't have to, you're not selling anything, so it's really, really easy to sort of have a conversation about it and just say to them that the best way to find out about this is to do that. Yep, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, what do you? What's a favourite thing for you? What's a favourite part about working online? If you had to kind of think of one thing for you, what would that be? It's the freedom. Is it the freedom? It is the freedom and being able to do it. You know, you can wake up at six o'clock in the morning and you can jump on because you're awake and you've got a bit of time. But if something crops up and you, you've got a, an appointment in the afternoon, it doesn't matter. You're not tied to the time that you would be if you were working in an office or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So it, for me, it's purely the freedom, and I can take it with me. I go see Dad. I can take the children out. I've got two dogs as well. So I walk there. whatever you're doing, you, you can just double check it and just make sure there's nothing urgent. Absolutely, absolutely. And when you think, and, and when people say to you, "Well, what makes this business your business, our business, different to all the other online opportunities that are out there?" You know, what what do you say to them? What would, what, what would you say if you had to pick, pick two or three things that you felt were the biggest selling points of this business? What would they be? For me, one is the people. The, the community is huge, and it's very yeah. important to me. The community, like, you surround yourself with like-minded people. It's the training. The training is very important because there's no way I could have done this without the training being in place. Yeah, and yeah. also the technical side, because I couldn't have put that together. So... Knowing that all of those things are there and everything's mapped out for me, although it's my business, I haven't had to do the legwork on that side of it. It's all been done for me. And to be honest, I could never have done what they've done. So yeah. it, it's just brilliant. Sure. No, I get you. I get you. Yeah. So what are you working towards, Jane? So if you if it was to fast forward 12 months from now? 12 months from now, I want to hit six eight. Um, that's where I want to be in 12 months. Okay. Um, then just, I, I would like to become a coach before the end of next year and then yeah. six days. Yeah. Okay. And personally, what, what and then what, just, what, yeah. What's the plan for a personal perspective? Again, it's the freedom. It, it's just being able to do what you want to do when you want to do it. I mean, Michael's just retired. I want to be in a position to sort of, if we want to go off and travel for three months to be able to do it. Yeah, and yeah. not have to worry about what my boss is going to say or who else is around us. 
so yeah absolutely that is it isn't it you know it is you know because when you when you when you don't work for yourself you always have so much to answer to don't you yes we do yeah have you seen any changes in your life in just your lifestyle since you started working online um yes <laughs> we've um been able to do a few bits and pieces that we wouldn't have done beforehand whether it's yeah. buying an extra crate of wine or whether it's <laughs> It's going, it <laughs> whether it's going away for a weekend or a long weekend because you can and whereas before I wouldn't have been able to have taken the Friday and the Monday off maybe very easily whereas now I, I take it I don't worry about it and then we go away for a few days I mean we were planning on, on going away for about three months now because my husband okay. finished work and we were going to yeah. go away then but obviously, with the situation as it is now, we can't do that. But like yourself, we're looking at maybe being able to go March, April time, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as as soon as we announce it, it we'll be there. Is. <laughs> so, what yeah. do you? Because as we know, there's a, there's a lot of online opportunities out there. Everyone professes to promise the world, you know, get rich quick, all this type of stuff. Um, and because of that, people are naturally sceptical or can be sceptical about online opportunities and stuff like that. What do you have any advice or any 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 kind of uh, what would you say to someone that maybe was? I would say if you're thinking about doing it and, and you're asking me about it, then register, get the information through. The videos will come over. You'll get all the information that you're looking for. This is not a get rich quick stick scheme, however. You're not going to put a few thousand pounds in and get 15,000 pounds. That's not how it works. But it will build and it will build gradually and it will be steady. And at the end of the day, you'll be in a good position. But only if you put the work in. If you don't put those couple of hours of work in where you need to do it and you don't do the training and you don't yeah. stay on top of the masterminds and stay motivated. Because motivation when you're working on your own can be quite difficult. But with regards to that, that's what I would say with regards to that, is just keep going. Thank you, Joe. It's my sister-in-law. <laughs> I, I knew she was a relation. I guess she was a relation. <laughs> yeah. So, no, yeah, it, it, you, you just got to stay focused. And some things will take longer than others. And don't ever compare yourself to somebody else, because somebody might just get somebody that joins them that will skyrocket everything. And it, yeah. it doesn't happen to everybody. Absolutely, no. It's that's spot on true. Spot on true. Ever, and that's that's what I say to people all the time. Is it, it absolutely get you know, you're doing is you're investing in starting a digital business, your own business. Yeah. And it, it, yeah. it absolutely is not get rich quick. Um, but what I then say to people is the fact that we do these interviews. This is part of the reason that I do these interviews is because you know I'm happy putting my face and my name out there and having a conversation i'm not hiding anything i, I can't be any more front and that's right exactly what you're doing right now you know we are very when you work online you cannot not be out there it's not possible yes. the two don't matter, you know you have to accept that um but people should take some comfort and confidence in the fact that we are here talking now live from our homes having a conversation about a business that we've both been running now for 18, 19 months. And that in itself should give people some confidence if they need some confidence that this is a legitimate opportunity because there's a lot of opportunities out there where you never see anybody, you never get to speak to anybody, all right? It's all done by email and we are the complete reverse of that, that model, aren't we? We are, absolutely. And, and the more you get to know people, the more people will sort of begin to trust you and stuff like that. So, I mean, I was jumping up and down in a skip on my page today. So, think anything, we're real people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, must, I, mean, I, I can't compete with that one, to be fair, Jane. No, you know. <laughs> I live I the high life, you know. That compressor <laughs> does it. I'm sure it's in, in the skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this all starts doesn't it with a workshop all right and we've mentioned it a couple of times i watched it you watched it 
why should the people that are watching this interview right now and that watch it kind of later, um, why should they invest their time, do you think, to watch the workshop? Because it will give you a dis different perspective on, on your whole life. I mean, I wasn't particularly looking for anything. It sort of popped up. I had to look at it, realised that it was real, and then took it forward from there. There's a lot of things out there and that you just look at and think it's either too good to be true or whatever, and probably still think that, even of what we're talking about now. And I mean, we're here, we're chatting, we're having a conversation, but they won't necessarily relate to us. Not everybody does. No. But if you don't look, you won't know. And it is 90 minutes of your time. So if you can't spare 90 minutes, you probably haven't got time to do it anyway. But it's definitely worth the look, as far as I'm concerned. It, one of the best things, most exciting things that's ever happened to me. And do you know what? Like if, if you were to ask me that question, that's probably what I'd say. It's the best decision that me and Ryan yeah. have ever made, getting involved with this business. Um, and I'm just like a proud father with this business that I've grown from nothing, like you've grown your business from nothing. And it's it's the most self-satisfying thing. You know, I'm so I'm so proud of that fact. And it is like my child that I'm just watching <laughs> grow. And, and, and it is, I, I can't equate it to it in other way. That's what it feels like. Um, yeah. You know, so for anybody that is looking for a change or looking for something different, looking for a new challenge, or maybe they're looking if they just need something to fill the day. They want something that's going to give them a bit of a, I, I don't want to say a hobby, but a bit of a side hustle, something on the side that they can do that can occupy them for a few hours a day or an hour a day even, then potentially running a digital business could be exactly, exactly what they're looking for. You know, yeah. really could. You know, so how and how and and if people want to find out about what we do, then they can register on either of our websites. So, Jane, what is your website address? It is www.janehammond.net. Okay, and mine's on screen. And all you need to do is you just need to pop onto the website, put your name and email address in, and we will send you some information. It's as simple as that. Absolutely. And then you can watch the workshop. We do them live, the workshops. We do them live twice a week on a, for UK people, it's at 1 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. <laughs> it's, really Wednesday morning. It, it is, it's not ideally suited for us in the UK. Um, <laughs> I, I co present them as well. So um, I, have a, I have some late nights a couple of times a month. So that's always Friday mornings are never great for me after doing a Thursday night <laughs> late. Um, but yeah, it is, for people, it, it's done, like I say, it's done live, like I say, at 1 a.m. UK time. But the beauty of them, I find, and I remember when I watched it, Jane, I'm sure you were the same, is obviously you've got the first half of the workshop that's all about the business and kind of why now is a good time to do it. But the second half is actually people coming on who are actually doing it, isn't it? So it's, it's like me and you rocking up and actually telling people our story, isn't it? This, you get four or five people who just provide some great – in fact, well, they're really inspiring, actually, because – People's backgrounds and reasons for doing this business never cease to amaze me, yeah, inspire me, move me. You know, do you feel the same way? Did you, when you watched it for yourself as well? Can you hear me, Jane? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think did, did I fade out then or something? Did I? We did. Yeah, it went a little bit. Off. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was like a moment there. I'm thinking, is she still there? Is she still? Yeah. There? <laughs> Don't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> I just want to say hello to Karen. So we've got Karen Jones who's watching as well. So. Oh hi, Karen. Um, hi, Karen. If you're still watching. <laughs> but yeah, so Jane, that's oh, absolutely fantastic. absolutely fantastic. That's been amazing. I think you know. I think for me. <sighs> There never has been a better time for anyone to start thinking about working online. It's as simple as that, isn't it? It is, absolutely. And, and you know, if you're unsure, have a look at it. And then if if it's something that you think you can roll with and it will work for you, then just yeah. have a proper look at it. Do your research and then decide at that point whether or not it's something you can go forward with. Yeah, it is. And what we do, and that's probably another thing as well, that people say, well, what is a business? What is it you do? And the answer is we teach people how to use social media to generate an income. 
Yeah. Right? That's in a nutshell. We provide you with website, thank you pages, email marketing campaigns, whole payment systems all taken care of. There is no, there's no kind of stock you need to hold. It's, you know, no. it, we literally, it's, I say this a lot, it's business in a box. It's literally, it's like a franchise. We're literally giving you a business and you come and you plug into it and you go, right? It's literally is like that. You know, we will literally give you everything, all right? Um, and you have to focus on the marketing side of things, but we teach you and train you. You just need to make your part of it work. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Nothing, uh, say again, sorry. Thank you very much. No, my absolute pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Thank You've you gone so again. Much. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've gone again. Thank you so much for your time, Jane. And to everybody watching, thank you. And I will see you on the next episode of Business Talk with Ivan. So until then, I will say adios. Have a good yes, evening. Have a good morning. Have a good day. Talk to you later. <laughs> thank you, Jane, again. Okay. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome.